Last time I was in the hive, I'd move the queen to the upper thing, put the queen excluder in. I'm going to put another frame, correction, another hive body up here at the top. Uh, frames with undrawn comb, something to let the bees have room to expand into. a little bit. Take off the top hive cover. I don't know if you can see the ants that were on there. Lots of ants were present. So the hive tool. There's the feeder. Lots of bees on the divider. Not sure if my spray will do anything but send them down toward the water to get a little more grounded. Oops, sorry about that. Break the top feeder box loose. A couple bees came out the back end. Looks like they drank about a third of the syrup that was on there. Take a quick look here at this upper frames. See how things are going. I'd rather let the bees go out here again. Has your alert instincts on high. You can see there's a drawing the comb. A little bit of a depth there on the wax foundation, a little bit more over here. Just starting to draw a tiny bit there. You're gonna have to work hard to keep ahead of the queen. You can see it's a little deeper over here. They're working hard at drawing comb. A little bit of nectar in the center there where it's deepest. Over here again more nectar. Up where there's no bees. Okay, here we're putting nectar in. This is almost entirely filled with nectar. And over here, don't know if you can see all that nectar there or not. This is all nectar at this point. Probably a good portion of it is the sugar water. Since this is the body that's closest, again, all nectar. Don't see any queen high activity up here. I'd expect to be seeing some brood or something. Getting a little thinner now, still drawing the fount frame, the foundation out. Again, nectar in the comb, just starting to draw comb, just starting to fill with nectar. So 
him a moment to settle. Expect to see the activity from the queen here. How about a pull of the second one here? This was under on foundation, they're doing good, a little bit of nectar in there. It's a much heavier frame. Almost filled with, uh, half filled with honey. Nectar. In the center areas of the cells, there's uncapped nectar around. See some pollen. It's looking like to me there's egg in there. And certainly there's brood, capped brood. You can see the capped honey around the top edge. A couple capped brood in here. New eggs in the bottom of the center area. I'm guessing the queen is still alive. Everything's clean right here, I would say. Capped brood in the center, some uncapped brood. Eggs filling out the corners. A little bit of honey at the top, capped honey. I don't see egg there, but I see capped brood, uncapped brood, the far side. Be careful with the queen, don't want to squish her. him a little bit. Just his leg, I think. Now oh, let's say we get some more spray there. Settle him a little bit. This looks like a heavy frame. It is. Some drone comb. The egg in there, some capped brood, uncapped brood, nectar. Not much pollen up this high. There's a little bit of staining in the cell. Pollen, a little bit more pollen over here. I'm going to cut this off. It looked like it may have been an empty queen cell, or maybe it's just a big brute drone cell. My concern is My concern is that the queen has enough space to lay egg. You get a little excited again here, so let's calm these down. Catch a couple in flight with the mist, it helps a little bit. 